customer who handed me a trick little Mellanox transceiver. I'm going to show it to you here. It's a QSFP Plus and uh, you can slot an SFP module into it so it supports 1 gig, 10 gig uh, SFP. Now this is interesting to them and to me because on our next gen uh, router platforms, uh, the 1 gig support generally only provided via um, uh, 4 gig, uh, 4 by 10 breakout which is going to be optical. Now on this platform we actually can slot 1 gig interfaces in but this is an MX204 but if you have something like an MX10003 um, or you know, 10,008 or 16 or some of the um, more modern 100 gig cars that we're selling in our uh, other chassis you, know, you might run into a situation where you need a you know, 1 gig copper connection or even a 10 gig copper connection uh, and you only have QSFP plus or QSFP 28 ports that's certainly true of the um, MX10003 which uh, has a, uh, you know, a MIC that uh, slots in that has a four, uh, 6 by uh, 40 gig and then uh, 12 by 100 gig that slots into that. So, as a transitional, you know, uh, component, and nice to have uh, copper. So, they handed me this and they said, hey, can you check this out? And I thought to myself, hey, I've got another customer who's got this, you know, demo gear. Uh, it's got the same ports on it as the MX-10Ks that they're buying. Now, let's try it out. So, interestingly enough, the only uh, copper GBICs that I have are uh, Cisco. So, we're really going to see if this thing likes what we're doing here because we're not going to use anything that's on brand. Uh, generally though these all come from pretty much the same factory uh, so it should work if it's going to. <laughs> Actually I already know the answer because I wouldn't be filming this if it hadn't worked. So I'm going to put that in and then uh, see if I can do this with one hand. I'm kind of, eh, come here you, uh, come on, there we are. And then we'll pop this in. So when I first plugged this in, uh, I got Link on the EX2300 uh, switch that I'm using. And you can see that Link Lake came up, but um, it wasn't working. And the reason it wasn't working was twofold. Uh, the, any of these MX routers, these new MX routers, uh, are gonna require version of code 18.1 or higher in order to support one gig on these ports. And this was running 17.4 or something or other, whatever is recommended. Um, second, the, you need to set the speed once you have that version of code on. Um, after that, it worked like a champ. So. We'll go over here to the, uh, the screens and kind of take a look at the terminals. Uh, on the right here, I've got the X2300, and on the left, I've got the uh, MX204. Uh, and uh, I've got a ping that I'm about to run here. You can kind of see the interface config, where I just simply gave the port a simple throwaway address, and if I ping across, oh, wrong screen. Oh, that went from bad to worse, didn't it? Hey, where'd you go? Go away. Sorry, MPLS lab configs there. Uh, so that's pings working, and if we come over here, you'll see that uh, first, that if I check the f hardware, we can see that that was the transceiver is actually showing up. Not a lot of information there. Of course, we've got two off-brand kind of voodoo things, but it uh, seems to work happy enough. I look at the configuration. There you can see the speed config that needs to be in there in order for it to support one gig. Um, I'm gonna try it with a 10 gig um, DAC that I have, uh, I have no reason to expect that it won't work. Um, and if I ping back, you'll see that works as well. So there you have it. Um, if you want one gig copper on one of these switches, uh, there is a path to see. Um, you can use either you know Juniper one gig copper uh, or obviously a Cisco, which likely means any others. And that uh, little Mellanox adapter, which we don't sell, but I'm sure you can find them. Uh, that's it for now. Hope this is helpful.